Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 to look at. This is 15025 for PC. There's no mobile version of it available. There, I think that was due to a, uh, a blocking bug, they called it, which is um, Don, Don Saka has put on her Twitter, Twitter feed that uh, there's a blocking bug on the mobile build, so they're investigating that. Now, what's also uh, different on this build is it's only available for 64-bit Windows. Uh, I'm running this on my Surface Pro 3, and uh, I've got the build installed on my Encore 8, which is running a 32-bit version of Windows 10. It's not available. The reason they say for that is is that there's a, um, a bug um, that's blocking that 32-bit uh, version. So um, what they say is that if you've got a 32-bit version, you'll, you'll probably get the next build, or you'll get the next build, because they've, they've put that it's blocked until the next flight. And they're also planning to re release an ISO of the 32-bit version um, this week, so probably Friday. So if you've got a 32-bit version of Windows 10, you'll be able to test this build out on there as well. So what's new in this build, 15025? Well, there's not a lot, actually, but mainly because... Um, there's a Microsoft bug bash where they're trying to get all as many sort of bugs submitted and, and then they can work on those bugs before the general release um, at the end of March, beginning of April. So there's only a few changes. Some I can show you, a couple of can't. Um, they've announced uh, Braille support in Narrator, which I think is really good. Um, but that obviously requires a USB Braille device, so I can't show you that. But it is there in the, the Narrator settings. Also, for the sort of accessibility features, you, there's a new mono option um, when you're setting up the uh, the reader um, so that users that have sort of one earpiece in will be able to pick up that without having this sort of um, audio loss through stereo effect. Right, what other changes can I show you? Well, the feedback hub has been changed. Um, oh, look at that, I think that's new as well, that predictive um, text has always been there sort of where you type in the value and then it shows you up there but I've not seen that down there where it sort of guesses what, you, what you're what you going to do. So uh, feedback hub uh, groups collections of feedback together so um, you often see duplicate feedback items that are almost the same and um, what they've done they've grouped those together so into collections uh, which I think is a good idea because you do get a lot of feedback that's um, uh, duplicates. So there you go. Um, you see the little um, stand there that shows it's a collection of feedback and uh, we can go and have a look at that. Right. I think that is a really good way of um, collecting all the feedback together um, like that. So they group those together. Quite often you search for an issue and you see maybe a few upvotes on an issue you've got, but if it was part of a collection you'd see a greater number of upvotes and it helps focus that on what's, uh, what the issues are. Um, other changes. Notice that the HoloLens mixed reality icon is gone now. I guess that only shows up when you've got a device plugged in. I quite like seeing that. But uh, So another change is the night light setting has changed slightly and uh, you can really change the temperature range on that. I know it doesn't show that on this video capture, but if I slide it right down to here, it's virtually red. Uh, and if I go all the way up here, it's um, the white is a blue colour, so I think for, for sort of night time I'd have that. Right, other changes that are in this build, like I said, they're all mainly book fixes. Um, I, there's one thing I want to show you actually that is on the previous build, but I noticed it's coming up. So, see the um, setting there, device complete setup. It actually shows you the device that's completely set up, and I noticed this with a restart option. And it won't show it on here, I don't think, because I did clear that one up. Uh, there's my synth that's, that's uh, was showing connected up the other day. But uh, when the firmware needed updating, it came up with the you know, system need restart required, like that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can, I can show you, and it shows there that the device driver that actually needed it, which is quite good because quite often you see that action without knowing what caused it and now you can see that. So I think that's that's pretty good. I think you've got uh, a, a lot more information on these uh, action center things now. So a couple of things that are fixed are if you've had problems getting onto Google sites then that's been fixed. Um, that was a sort of uh, they're doing secure 
connection methods but that error has been fixed now um, they fixed some of the networking issues when the with the Wi-Fi pop-ups and uh, um, they got things like uh, ink workspace now remembers the state color and so on so there's not a huge amount of uh, new features there, but there are a lot of fixes so I'll leave you to look at those in the um, in the notes that go along with the video on the known issues I did have some problems getting this build started um, and I um, seem to be not uh, not the only one. I had this on the previous build of my own Core 8, so I went into Windows Update, check for updates. It would see the update and it would say initializing. And it sat there, well, I left it for well over an hour, nearly two hours, and nothing happened. Um, now, they do have a forum post now to fix that. In the end, on the own Core 8, I had to disable delivery optimization service and stopped Windows Update, rebooted, and then it worked. On this surface, it didn't, and I actually used a Windows Update Fix tool um, that somebody posted, uh, it's a Microsoft tool, but somebody posted in the thread on Microsoft forums which fixed it as well. So uh, once I ran that tool, and it, it actually just started to download straight away. I didn't even have to reboot, so that's good. So that was the main um, no issue. There is a, like I said, a long thread on that. So um, you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com and uh, you can look back at all the build videos mobile and PC right back to the very first previews and of course all the other stuff we've got on there as well reviews tech uh, um, how to's and all sorts so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one